How's it going this evening, my friend? This is Gerald Bass, G Bass Walter, supporting live from my home office in the Cater, Georgia. And I want to shoot a video today on how to handle the I want to think about it objection. How to handle the I want to think about it objection. How many times have you been prospecting, you've exposed your product, service, or opportunity to someone, and they told you, I have to think about it? Okay. I'm going to ask you to be sharing with you in this video how to overcome that objection today. But before I get to the information, I want to tell you that this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm actually going to be hosting a 100% free workshop. You're actually going to discover how to get an endless amount of leads, get more sales for your business using automation systems that work for you 24-7, 365. I know at times as I talk to different people in business, entrepreneurship and marketing and sales throughout the week, a lot of times people tell me that still work jobs that they necessarily don't have a lot of time to build their business. They don't have a lot of time to do the prospecting and reaching out to people or doing the presentations or what have you. And so this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm actually going to be sharing with you how you can actually put your business on autopilot i'm gonna walk you through step by step what i do on a day-to-day -day basis of what i've been able to train mentor and coach several other people to do as well to actually create more leverage in their business so you're generating leads even while you're at work while you're out with the family while you're traveling while you're handling spirituality while you're in the gym whatever the case may be okay so all you simply want to do is go to www.getpaywithgerald.com slash automate sales www.getpaywithgerald.com slash automate sales I'm actually going to leave the link either below or on top of the video just click the link get registered for the workshop this workshop will fill up this Sunday okay so you want to register as soon as possible it's absolutely free don't need a debit credit card none of that just put your name and email in the form and get registered for that workshop for this Sunday so with that said let's dive into the information today on how to handle the I want to think about it objection okay I know at times when we're prospecting, if you're prospecting, which is what you should be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, okay, because you can do passive marketing in terms of posting pictures, putting videos out, putting blog posts out, and things of that nature um, to get traffic. Uh, but you also as well, okay, to be able to go through a large number of people at a given time and get a whole lot of exposures for your business, whether that's, like I said, your product, service, if you have some type of opportunity, whatever the case may be. You also have to reach out to people, have conversations with people, and get people exposed to what you have to offer. And I'm pretty sure if you really have been in that type of activity building your business, I'm pretty sure at times you have got from the prospect um, when you're actually about to get ready to close the deal, uh, I want to think about it. I want to think about it. Okay. So this is usually one way that I actually respond um, to that particular objection. Okay. What I ask the prospect is I say, okay, let me ask you a question, Ann. Let's say the prospect name is Ann. Let me ask you a question, Ann. Okay. Are you saying that you have to think about it because of the simple fact you really don't want to purchase the product or service or you really are not serious about the opportunity and you don't want to hurt my feelings? Or are you saying that you have to think about it because of the simple fact you really have some unanswered questions? Okay. You really need a little bit more information. Which one is it? Okay. So I'm going to say it again. I would say, uh, and are you saying you have to think about it because of the simple fact you're really not serious about purchasing this product or service or pursuing this business opportunity? Okay. And you don't want to hurt my feelings? Or is it that you really have some unanswered questions and you just need a little bit more information to be able to make a decision? Okay. So that's usually what I ask the prospect. Now, most of the time, the prospect is going to say, uh, I just need a little bit more information. And if they say they need a little bit more information, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to say, okay, what do you have questions on? Okay, They may say they have a question on how the payout is structured, Okay, if it's the opportunity side. They may say, uh, I need to know a little bit more about how we actually get paid. Okay, And if they say that to me, I'm going to simply say, well, and I definitely feel, um, you know, great to answer that question for you. Um, but let me ask you a question, Ann. So if I was actually able to answer the question for you in terms of how we get paid and explain our compensation plan a little bit more to you, would that be enough information to get you started today? Okay. So that's what I'm going to ask Ann. 
right? Or even if it's about the product or the service. If I was to answer any questions about our particular product or service, explain a little bit more to you, and would that be enough information for you to get started today? Okay. And the reason I ask that question is because I want to know the seriousness of this prospect. Okay. Thinking about it is instantaneous. Okay. <laughs> think about it for right now. Right. Think about an elephant. I just told you to think about an elephant. I'm guarantee you when I told you to think about an elephant, immediately a picture of an elephant came to your head. Okay, think about your house burning down. Okay, I'm pretty sure if I say, hey, think about your house burning down, I'm pretty sure at that time a picture, a mental picture comes to your head that time about your house burning down. So usually thinking about it is really just procrastination. It's an excuse for them not to get started. Okay, they don't have to think about it. Okay, they've already thought about it. Okay. So you need to really get down to the root of the issue, answer whatever questions that need to be answered for them to go on to make a decision to get started. Okay. So I hope you got some value out of this video uh, today. Um, you know, if you got some more questions on how to close these type of deals, feel free to reach out to me. You can shoot me a, a Facebook uh, inbox or email me at gbasswealthtips at gmail.com you know, if you need some personal coaching. Uh, and hands-on coaching in terms of closing these type of deals um, but also feel free to share this video around on Facebook share it around on Twitter share it with your team share it with anybody you feel may benefit comment below let me know if you got any value do you have any questions also subscribe to my YouTube page Gerald Bass because I'm always dropping free training videos like this and also like I said this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern time I'm gonna be hosting a hundred percent free workshop you're going to actually discover how to get an endless amount of leads, get more sales for your business through automation systems that work for you 24-7, 365. Okay? Whether you're working a job, if you have to tend to your kids, you can still have leads coming in and still be converting those leads into sales or sign-ups for your business while you handle the other things you need to handle in terms of life. I'm going to be covering that this Sunday. So go to www.getpaidwithgerald.com slash automate sales, www.getpaidwithgerald.com. Get paid with Gerald.com slash automate sales. Lock your spot in for the workshop. No debit or credit card needed. Just put your name and email in the form and get registered. I see you this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. With that said, this is Gerald Bass, G Bass Wealth Tips. Have a phenomenal day on purpose.